Hey Brew Nerds, welcome to an episode of Rule of Yum with me, Ken, and today I'm joined with my boyfriend, Nick. Hi! And if you're new to the channel, this is a channel where I do food and fashion and everything in between. So click the description box to subscribe to not miss a video. Alright, let's. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the Try to World box, which I'm really excited about because it is not just any box. It's the Michelin box. So that's exciting. Let's get started. Ta da! Okay, so it's not that impressive right now because you only see this on top. But. Ta da! Yay! Yeah! So, you wanna read the first one? Oh, the chef is Thomas Raquel from mm -hmm. Le Bernardin. Le Bernardin, yeah. Yeah? Le Bernardin. I don't know. So it says, soon after graduating high school, just 16 years old, chef. Thomas Raquel enrolled in culinary school and quickly gained recognition for his pastry expertise. Expertise. He's pastry expertise. Today, he's the pastry chef at Le Bernet, so he's the pastry oh, chef. Oh, he's the pastry chef. So, yeah. Eric Repair still is. Um, a 2016 three-star Michelin restaurant in New York City. Here, he shares his best holiday recipes with you. The first thing is truffle sauce. Truffle sauce. Um, Giuliano Tartuffi from Italy. It says in 1980, the founder of Giuliano Tartuffi ventured into the forest with his grandfather and Irish setter. Thanks to his dog's keen sense of smell, Giuliano found his very first truffle and has been making a range of truffle products, including this sauce, since that day. Here's a truffle sauce. I don't want to open it. Yeah. Because if I open it, I would have to like break the seal. And I'm not making pasta right now, so trust me. When, this, when I say this is delicious. Move to the next item, which would be pan de apice. So it's a baking mix. Margot and Scarlett are two sisters behind Marlette, a small French company that makes it easy to bake at home. Their pan de apice, or spice bread. It is a traditional French holiday cake that is made with freshly milled organic flour and a variety of baking spices. Ta-da! Ta -da! We also can't eat this right now because we have to bake it first. Yeah. Next thing is pineapple cake from Taiwan, and it says, a buttery cake filled with sweet and tangy jam. Pineapple cake is oh, a ubiquitous pastry in I've Taiwan. I've had this before. Yeah, we've had it before, it's really good. In Taiwanese, pineapple is pronounced uh, ong lai, ong lai, which is similar to the phrase for the arrival and prosperity and fortune. This hidden meaning makes it a popular gift during Lunar New Year. So this is the packaging, which yeah. is Really cute, by the way. Oh, you can't see. This is really cute, by the way. Um, it's, it's a square pineapple. It's a square mm -hmm. pineapple. I just said the same exact thing as you did in a different tone. Should we just share yeah, one? Just share one. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put it back. No, Warden, it's not for you, dumb butt. Uh, it's crumbled. Okay, wait. Okay. I'm just gonna bite it. Okay, yeah, just bite it. Mm, this was a bad idea to eat mm. this in the bed. It tastes like pan de coco, which is um, so crummy. It's very crummy, but I like the little jelly in the middle. It, I say reason why I say pan de coco is because Filipino, you'd be familiar with this. It's like we have a little bread that has like coconut jam in the middle, but this one is pineapple instead. But <laughs> Gordon's eating the crumbs. <laughs> it's really good. The pineapple is. It's not like overpoweringly sweet like the candy, but it is sweet. The next one is the lemon curd. It's from Fox Gourmet in the United Kingdom. Lemon curd is an English fruit preserve made with lemon, sugar, and eggs. In the late 19th century, people served, this, uh, served the homemade preparation to their guests when they visited for tea. Fox Gourmet makes their lemon curd the old-fashioned way by cooking it in open pans. Use it, mix it in a dessert, serve with scones, or layer into a parfait. So, oh my gosh, so I guess we're gonna make parfaits, unless you wanna make scones. Scones, 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 scones. Really sounded wrong. like you didn't wanna make sn scones. <laughs> You're like, oh, so we're gonna have it in parfaits, or do you wanna make scones? I mean, how else are you gonna communicate your dislike for a certain thing? Not that I dislike scones, I just don't wanna make them. And he knows that it would be him making them. <coughs> I mean, who else is gonna make it, Warden? True. He'd yeah. probably be better at it than me. Next thing is Toff Fritz and Henty. Oh, is that like a new gay slang in South Africa? 
The duo behind this toffee have been hiring locals to make their signature sweets since 2013. Deliciously rich and creamy, it's made with pure butter from Darling, a South African town known for, known for its excellent butter, and wrapped in recycled and biodegradable packaging. Yeah, look at them looking out for the environment. Yes, come through. I'm gonna use my uh, Filipino can opener, as Mikey Busso said. So let's just take one, Thanks. and then we'll, can we split it, or can we not? Um, is it yeah. too hard? I can just bite hard. it again. Okay, let me see. Oh. Oh. No, we can't okay. split it. Ow. It's getting a little softer. Mm, you gotta work at it. The butteriness really comes through with it. So, now you get to read it while that thing is in your mouth. I just read that. Oh, that means I get to read it with the thing in my mouth. Hot chocolate tablets from Kekua, Mexico. Perfect for the winter, Kekua. Kekua? Keku? Kekua? Kekua's uh, chocolate tablets are made with best Mexican cocoa beans according to the Aztec tradition, an ancient civilization that was conquered by the Spanish over 400 years ago. Kekua or Kekua also helps, uh, helps marginalized communities by employing indigenous people in the area. Perfect! I love that. Uh, melt into hot milk. I forgot to Vanna White it. Yeah, yeah. Melt into hot milk, indulge in po uh, po uh, a post dinner with Mexican coffee for mocha. For mo with, mixed, with mixing co mixed with coffee for mocha. We can have champurado, like Mexican champurado. With, with this, this one? Mm -hmm. And get it all nice and traditional. I know. Nice um, homage to the Aztecs. Next thing is date spread. Symbol of good luck, dates are popular other from Israel. Um, popular holiday food throughout the Mediterranean. This date spread is made with ripe fruit grown on a community farm in Israel, and the packaging process that follows provides working opportunities for disabled individuals in the community. It's awesome. Aww. These are amazing. <clears throat> I love companies that like help out the community. Last but not least, Shortbread Spruisewood Handmade Cookie Company Canada. Rich with butter, shortbread was once expensive and precious treat reserved for Christmas. After running a wildly popular catering company over 25 years, Mark Pollard founded Sprucewood, where he now specializes in baking sweet and savory shortbread cakes, uh, shortbread cookies from scratch. Dip into coffee, top it. an ice cream sundae, make into a cookie sandwich. I'm gonna use my um, digital can opener. We're gonna split one or have one? No, let's split one, girl. Oh, okay. Greedy bench. Mmm. Let me see. Ooh, it's already, it already smells very buttery. <laughs> She's smelling it. She's good. Mmm. Mmm, especially I had a little toffee still in my mouth, mm. so. Yeah. Delicious! Delicious. Like when you have like uh, butter, like. Almost like brown butter. That's what it tastes like. Oh, I have coffee. Oh, well. You don't have any more shortbread though. Forgot. What do you mean? We have a whole box. No, they're not, you're not eating it right now. If you want to try the world from try the world, go ahead and check the description for a coupon code. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining us. Unbox and talk about food. And eat. And eat in front of you because we're rude like that. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon, and as for you, happy naming. Bye! Welcome to a new episode. Welcome to an episode of Rule of Yam, Me Can. Me Can.